Hey everyone, my name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about some things that I dislike about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. And it's so hard trying to find things that I dislike about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, but there are a few things that I definitely thought maybe you guys would be interested in learning about. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, give this video a thumbs up because that will definitely help out this channel in the long run, and I make new videos every single Monday. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you don't already know, this is little Slater here. He's as usual, hanging out, chilling out, playing with Nika's toy that he's not supposed to be playing with, but I'm letting him play with it because that's the only way I can get him to stay on the bed right now because he does not feel like being on camera. Now take the word dislike with a grain of salt just because it is so hard for me to find things that I don't like about him. I would say this is more in the cusp of things that I'm more worried about. So the first thing that I kind of dislike about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that Slater is very, very manipulative. I absolutely love him. I adore him with all of my heart but he's manipulative. For an example would be if Slater sees something on the floor, he's gonna go and pick it up no matter what it is. Wrapper, piece of trash, whatever. He's gonna go pick it up, right? And then I'll tell him to drop it and then he'll listen to me, he'll drop it, but then he'll keep looking at me like waiting for me to turn around or not pay attention to him anymore because he's gonna try to pick it up again. And I'm like, Slater, no, I said drop it. Then he'll drop it, then he'll keep looking at me to try to like pick it up again. I'm like, He'll just look at me with like those big, full of emotion eyes and just like, what? I didn't do anything wrong. I just want to pick up the little thing off the floor. It's not going to cause any harm. Just let me pick it up. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then another example would be, so what I do is I actually feed Slater in his pen because he does have a very sensitive stomach. So I let him eat in the pen so that way he's not running around and then I let him digest for about 30 minutes because if I let him out the pen any sooner than that, he's gonna throw up just from experience. So I have to let him sit in the pen, digest for a little bit. And then what he'll do is just whine the entire 30 minutes until I let him out. He does not like being in there anymore just because he's just such a free spirit now. And I let him roam around a lot more than I did when he was younger and he loves it. But he'll literally just sit there and whine and stare at me. But if I let him any sooner that he just bolts and runs around and does zoomies. I'm just like, no, he, he, he a little manipulative, but I still love him. The second thing that I kind of dislike is he has a very, very strong curiosity instinct. This is a good thing and a bad thing. I mentioned the good thing in my last video, things that I love about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you guys to go check that out. So the bad thing is that it's just sometimes his curiosity just takes over his mindset and like he won't listen when it comes to commands and, and that worries me. But I am training him and I, and I am working on it with him. But an example would be if he sees like a bird in the yard or if he sees like a squirrel or something and I say, oh Slater, no leave it, he won't listen. He'll just charge after it. You know what I mean? And that makes me, you know, a little bit nervous just because he's not doing his commands when there's like a lot of distractions going on, but he still sees it and he just doesn't care. He just goes after it. Another example would be when we're going out for a walk, Slater does still pull on his leash. I'm working on him not pulling on his leash. Obviously, you know, I get it with the senses, the smells, the people, there's just a lot going on and I, and I can understand that can be a little bit overwhelming, but he's just, more infatuated with everything that's going on opposed to paying attention to me and he needs to pay attention to me in order for me to give him direction so that way he will listen to me right so obviously you know that takes training that takes more time that takes more patience hopefully sooner than later we can get there of him you know me being more important than the squirrel or the leaf or the bird or the other person or the dog that he sees my biggest fear of his curiosity is that he will door dash. And I'm still working on training with him with that as well. I'm training him not to run to the door. There have been two times that Slater door dash and it absolutely scared the bonkers out of me. And ever since then, like I put up gates now where the door is, you know, I try to put down tapes so that way he knows not to go past that tape. We're still, I'm still training him to learning how to not go past that tape. And I'm still training him when it comes to door dashing 
but just that curiosity instinct oh my gosh it just it scares me it really does so you just have to pay attention to it if your dog obviously has like a strong curiosity instinct of you know just pay attention training and lots and lots and lots of patience hopefully you and I can get through this together if your dog has a strong curiosity instinct the third thing that I dislike about Slayer but I wouldn't say I dislike this. I actually think this is kind of funny. Is that he back talks. Sometimes if I tell Slater no to certain things, he will back talk me. And I'm just like, who do you think you're talking to? For example, if I were to take a toy away from him, he'll just be like, I roo 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 roo. I'm like, I roo 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 roo. What you mean? Yeah, I just, I would say, I think it's more of a funny thing than like a dislike thing, but he back talks and I just think it's crazy. So the fourth thing that I kind of dislike about Slater is right now I can't take him out in public and when I say public I mean like in stores and stuff like that. There have been several times where I tried to take Slater into dog friendly stores to you know just let him get out and about and come out with me but he sees all these people and he gets so excited and if they ignore him people walk past him and they don't pet him he starts to cry and whine. Slater loves attention so so much in that he sees all these people and the fact that they're walking past him and not petting him he gets highly 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 upset like he's he will cry he whines and then he starts barking because nobody's stopping and petting him and I'm like oh my gosh Slater stop you're embarrassing me and when we got to the checkout at one of the stores one of the cashiers came around and started petting him and then he stopped whining and crying I'm just like Slater not everybody can stop to give you attention so we're working on that as well it's a lot of things we're still working on you know <laughs> we're, we're all not perfect and I get that and then the last thing I would say that I dislike about the Cavalier breed as a whole is probably the fact that they are very very sensitive to diseases they're prone to MVD they're prone to a lot many other things as well it's just a very very sensitive breed when it comes to disease and it's horrible honestly it's just so sad that as beautiful of a breed that it is that it is so prone to all these conditions and diseases and it makes me sad to think about it but I just try not to I just try to live in the moment not think about it and you know just if something like that were to occur then we would of course you know approach the situation as best as we could but hopefully we don't have to worry about that and um, you know just hang out and just enjoy each other it was really hard for me to come up with things that I dislike about my Cavalier but all in all I absolutely love Slater so much I'm so infatuated with him I adore him and I love all of his flaws and kooks and absolutely everything about him and I wouldn't change anything ever so yeah I guess that concludes this video thank you so much for watching I really hope that you will subscribe give this video a thumbs up because that will definitely help out this channel in the long run I make new videos every single Monday and I'll see you guys in the next one see you guys